Hey guys, my name is Serena. For anybody who's new here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, or today, the next couple of days, this video is going to be a how to be productive on the night shift. So today's Friday, March 19th, and I work tonight, tomorrow, which is Saturday, Sunday, and I have Monday off, and then I work Tuesday and Wednesday. So five out of six nights, I'm going to miss my bed dearly. I'm going to miss sleeping while it is nighttime. However, then I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and then I don't go back till Monday night. So it's gonna be a long stretch, but it's gonna be worth it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I am productive while I'm working a stretch of days on the night shift. So today being my first day on, I made sure that I get, at, or I make sure I get at least 10 hours of sleep. So I, go to, I went to bed at like, 10 p.m. last night and then I set my alarm for 9 so that maybe if I even slept in a little later I get 11 hours of sleep. I was tired. I don't know why. I've just kind of been a little bit like more exhausted this week for some reason. So I did end up sleeping that 11 hours and then when I wake up I set like a time frame for the morning slash afternoon where I can be productive and work out and get things done and then I'll like cut myself off around like cut myself off at around three o'clock and then from three to five is like my designated time to just like lay in my bed and i normally never sleep but still just like resting in my bed helps just kind of like relaxing my body closing my eyes sometimes i'll read sometimes i'll listen to music or a podcast something that's like you know peaceful and relaxing and i'll light a candle and i'll close my shades and all of that so that is how i kind of structure my first day on so like this morning from nine to three i was working out i was getting things done that i needed to get done and then at three o'clock i cut myself off and i was like okay this is the time that i need to rest and it's now a little bit after five i put my headband in this is my cute work headband i just got it from hello headband and i got a couple medical ones so you'll probably see them like through this video and i put a little bit of eye makeup on just to make myself feel alive and like under eye concealer because i am kind of tired i don't know if it's like the anticipation just like really gets to me for the first night getting over that first night just like makes everything so much better because you never know what you're walking into so yes i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will most likely see you after my shift tomorrow Okay, so last thing to mention before work, I always put my pajamas out um, right before I go so that I can come, in, come home in the morning, take a hot shower, eat whatever I'm going to eat, and then get my pajamas and literally jump right into bed. So yeah, just like little tip, just makes it easier and quicker in the morning when you have everything prepared. Good morning, guys. This is, oh my gosh, I still have like sleep voice. Good morning, guys. This is funny because this is like real life footage of me just waking up. Like I just woke up five minutes ago. And I was asleep from 8.30 until like 12.30. And then I was awake until 2. And then I slept from 2 to 3. So I guess I slept pretty well. That's pretty good, honestly, for me. And I feel pretty well rested. And like I just said, I think <laughs> my brain is just like not quite awake yet it is three o'clock and i just woke up to my alarm and i hopped right out of bed within five minutes and i have my gym clothes ready right on my dresser i am going to go fill my water and brush my teeth and honestly just head right to the gym that is the plan and i'm going to make myself a little cold brew coffee i have the um it's like a La Colombo. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I say that. La Colombi. Colum. It's like a pre-made cold brew coffee that I have that is already in the fridge. So I literally just make a cup of that and eat like a protein bar usually and then head right to the gym. So yeah, that's my plan. I 
try to do this as soon as I get up, like I get up and then I go. Like no delaying, no time to silly around. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I just got back from the gym. It's a little after five. I didn't end up leaving until like 3.30, 3.45 because I was having a snack and water and just kind of like waking up. But I just wanted to share with you guys a protein shake that I like to make after the gym slash before work. So it is frozen berries, chocolate peanut butter protein. I use half a banana, vanilla oat milk. And then I recently have been adding this cold brew coffee I just add like not that much I'd say like half a cup maybe just into the protein shake just to give it a nice little kick you know right before my shift to wake me up and then of course I have like another um, cup of coffee I'm such a cold coffee person when I wake up from sleeping after night shift because I can only really drink hot coffee in the morning. So yeah, I blend it all together and this is what I get and it's so good and I highly recommend it. Also, I think I forgot to mention that this video is being filmed over a couple days. So I started the filming on Friday and it is already Wednesday. So this weekend I actually was just like way more tired than normal and i did sleep later which is ironic because i was like i never sleep but i did sleep way later than i normally do i slept until like three and four and then i would go to the gym but like i just wasn't i was just so like tired and just so like in work mode because i was working so many days in a row and i knew i'd have to work so many days in a row and it was just kind of like making me not feel like filming a video so I started the video on Friday and it is Wednesday so I worked last night I worked Friday Saturday Sunday Monday night off and then I worked last night Tuesday night and then I worked tonight Wednesday night and then I'm finally done with the stretch like I could not be more relieved to be done but I feel much better because Monday night the night I actually did get off I slept so much and I just feel like refreshed and I feel like a new person so I'm just kind of like resuming this video but I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because I didn't want to like confuse anyone in case I start mentioning like what day it is or anything like that Hey guys, so I didn't really film much because all I did was shower. I helped my roommate cook HelloFresh and we had dinner. And then I brushed my teeth, had some coffee, and now I'm ready to go. So I just wanted to check back in with you guys before I leave for work. And also say that tomorrow, after my shift, I'm going to nap versus like try to sleep the whole day and talk a little bit more about tips and things that i do to stay organized and productive while working the night shift so i'll see you tomorrow guys good morning guys so it's the next day i'm finally off of work it's about four o'clock and i woke up around two and then i went to get my nails done at three i got here let me put my coffee down I just got this simple light pink color and if it will focus there it is their dip I've recently been getting dip and I love it it lasts so much longer does not chip hopefully I don't jinx myself but I had like a teal color on last time I got it and the teal did not chip at all and gel usually chips for me like within after like it's good for a week and then the second week something will chip but yeah no these like are so much more sturdy and i don't know when the guy too took off my other color that i had and i felt my real nails my real nails were still so strong and i feel like gel usually kind of makes them flimsy and break easier but no they felt so good so yeah definitely recommend dip and i'm gonna continue to keep up with my nails because when you have your nails done it just makes you feel so much better so yeah, I woke up, I had a nail appointment, and I'm having my coffee, and I'm also going to go work out, and then I need to like make a list of things that I need to get done in the next couple of days. That's funny, you can see me right there. And yeah, just kind of like get everything together because I'm going home this weekend for a big event, and I'm actually going to be starting another job. I'm going to be doing COVID vaccinations with my friends, so I just have to kind of organize myself. So after I... I go to the gym, shower, and kind of settle down. I am going to talk to you guys about what I do to stay productive and organized and, you know, still be a functioning human being while working the night shift.
Hey guys, so it's the next day. I didn't end up filming yesterday because I was so tired. I came home from the gym and the exhaustion just hit me like a wall. And I showered and I packed because I'm going home this weekend. And then I just went to bed and I was just so tired. And I was way too exhausted to sit down and function and give you guys a good little clip on some valuable tips and tricks for night shift. So I was like, you know what? I'll just sleep through the night, shower, work out in the morning, have a good coffee, and then I will sit down and film when I have a much more clear mind. So with that said, I wrote down some tips on my phone. I'm just gonna go through them. These are things that I do to help myself stay productive and help myself function as normal as possible while working the night shift i do three 12-hour shifts a week and sometimes i do them clustered so like the last couple of days like out of the last seven days today's friday i worked five of those seven nights so when we have when i have clusters of days like that i'm definitely so much more exhausted and less productive than i am if they're spread out so it doesn't always feel like it's just three nights it's kind of weird how it works but now it's nice and now it's worth it because i have so many days off so my number one thing the first thing i want to mention is listening to your body so i know this is a video about being super productive and whatnot and that's how i try to be but if there are days where i am so tired and i feel like i can sleep more than my alarm like past my like the time that i have my alarm set for and i just feel exhausted especially if it's like the second or third night in a row i sleep i always listen to my body that's the most important thing to do especially working the night shift you get a lot less sleep and usually the quality of sleep is a lot less than if you were to sleep through the normal night so listening to your body and sleeping more if you feel that you can sleep more that is something that's so important and it's hard for me because i have a difficult time sleeping but for example this past weekend on saturday sunday night saturday and sunday night yeah i didn't film because i was actually sleeping a lot more than i normally did normally do so yeah listening to your body and sleeping as much as you possibly can should always be your number one priority because that puts you in a good mental state bought mental state especially when you're going to stay up for 12 hours and take care of people that is the most important thing by far so some things that i do to stay productive i come home i take one milligram of melatonin when i get off a shift because i don't i don't take any more than that because i find that i'm way too groggy even if i wake up at three o'clock and i can't sleep more even if i wake up at like one or two o'clock and i can't sleep more if i take more melatonin then i'll feel so much more groggy and i just move so much slower and i go into the next night feeling so much less rested than if i were to just take one milligram of melatonin and then wake up at that time so finding the right amount of melatonin for you to sleep if you even need any some some of my friends don't even need it but um another thing i do on my night shift i drink water all night so i drink water all night until like 4 or 5 a.m and then i kind of cut myself off and then i come home and i have a big glass of water right before i go to bed not even a big glass like eight ounce glass of water right when i get home i shower i take a hot shower and then i hop into bed and i also make sure i eat something because if you don't drink and eat then you'll wake up like a couple hours after you fall asleep absolutely parched and you'll be so hungry so doing those two things definitely reduces your chances of waking up from something like hunger or having to go to the bathroom if you stop drinking water around like 4 30 ish a.m i found that i'm not waking up to use the bathroom as many times when i'm sleeping during the afternoon so those two things are things that help me with sleep in the melatonin okay so another thing is setting an alarm for yourself so not many people do this but i do this i rarely sleep like i've said before i rarely sleep as late as three o'clock and that's just something that like my body really can't do and hasn't been able to do uh, but if i i usually go to sleep at like eight eight o'clock ish like 8 15 because i live relatively close to where i work so i come home and i'm in bed within 30 minutes of getting out of work so i set my alarm for three because that would allow me to have seven hours of sleep which is pretty decent that's actually really good and as soon as my alarm goes off i get up i don't lay in bed for a while because it's so easy to feel tired even though you know you're not going to sleep anymore and just 
lay around and do nothing and then before you know it it's already like 3 30 or 4 o'clock so whenever i set an alarm and i know i've gotten a certain amount of sleep i try to get up within 10 minutes of my alarm going off so that i'm not wasting time just like you know scrolling on my phone and going on social media because that time is just time wasted like there's just no reason to wake up and sit on your phone for 30 minutes and it just makes me feel even more groggy than i already am so i try to get up not go on my phone then start whatever i'm gonna be doing for that afternoon i always have my gym clothes set out so something like when i come home from my shift i always have my pajamas laid out on my bed for myself so as soon as i get out of the shower my pajamas on and i'm in bed and then same thing goes for when i wake up i set out my gym clothes so that i have gym clothes ready to go it's just way easier when you have things like ready at your convenience and it makes even though it's something that's such a small and easy thing to do when things are more convenient especially when you're tired you're way more likely to just go ahead grab them like grab your gym clothes as soon as you wake up change go fill your water and then i always have this like big jug of cold brew so instead of going out to get a coffee or making hot coffee i actually can't even drink hot coffee in the middle of the afternoon but instead of going out to get a coffee i just have a jug of cold brew already in my fridge in my kitchen so that i just pour myself a glass of cold brew and then i have usually multiple different like protein bars or pieces of fruit usually i'll wake up and i'll have a protein bar and a banana or something like that right before i go to the gym so anything that you can do to make things easier and more convenient for yourself is definitely something that makes you be more productive and helps time to be less wasted even though it's like very, even though these are all very small things it just kind of helps me move along quicker as soon as i get out of bed which in turn allows me to use my time more wisely also something that's important to know when you're going to work a few stretch of days i never plan to do anything crazy besides leave for the gym and then eat and rest and like sleep in the middle of a stretch of a couple days so say i'm working friday saturday sunday i do a bunch of like i do what i need to get done so for example laundry say i need to go grocery shopping say i need to do all those kinds of things i do them on friday in the time frame that i have set for myself from friday morning to friday afternoon before i lay down before work i'll set a time frame for myself usually from like i'll wake up at like nine because I try to sleep in so in case I don't nap I at least have a little bit of rest from like 9 until 3 o'clock I get all of those things done like those errand type activities done so that I don't have to do them in the middle of a stretch of work because if you have to break up your time and go grocery shopping after you're already waking up at 3 and then you're working out and eating and then you also have to make dinner and i'm usually leaving for work by six even though it seems like a lot of time the time goes by really fast so i never plan to do anything outside resting going to the gym or sleeping in the middle of a couple days stretch i always try to get it done on that friday or on that monday say i work sunday night and then i work into monday morning on that monday morning i usually will sleep for like four hours and yes it's hard but i just wake up and i try to make the most out of my monday so that i can go to sleep early and on like a normal time at a normal time on monday night so i'll sleep from like 8 to 12 or 12 30 and then i'll go to sleep around eight o'clock or at least hop in bed by eight o'clock so that i'm asleep by nine and i get a full night's sleep so that i can make the most out of the days that i actually have off so yes that's really it just also making sure that you're eating and drinking properly it's really easy to just have little snacks here and there and then forget how important it is to make meals and come home from work and have something for breakfast as well as wake up and have some kind of lunch and then make sure you eat a substantial dinner before you go to work i don't bring meals while i go to work i just bring snacks and i try to eat two large meals or three normal meals throughout the day like i said one when i come home one when i wake up as my lunch and then a big meal right before i go to di right before i go to dinner right before i go to work and i'm definitely always trying to drink as much water as possible because it's easy to forget about those two things and not eat enough and not drink enough and you need to take care of yourself that is the number one tip i have for you is rest and take care of yourself and yes it's super nice to be productive but this is not what i do all the time if i can be lazy and I feel like I really need to sleep or my body's telling me I need to just lay down then I will listen to my body above all else and make sure
make sure I'm taking care of myself because like I said that is the number one most important thing so yes I think that's all I have for you guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I try to be as productive as I can I am such a person who needs to like have a checklist like an ongoing checklist of things that I need to get done throughout the week and I try to organize my time so that I'm doing it on the days that I'm not working but I also am trying always trying to make sure that I'm getting enough rest so it's hard to balance while you're on the night shift it's definitely not a shift that I can continue to do for more than a year I really don't think so because it just really drains you and it's like I feel like I function on a new level of normal and that new level of normal for me is like always feeling kind of tired I never really feel quite rested so yeah this isn't something I can do forever but for now it's great for learning and I love the people I work with on the night shift so we're gonna keep going for now we're gonna power through until I can get back to a normal sleep schedule so yeah thank you again for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye guys